Hey guys, welcome back to Don't Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Tuesday, uh, May 28th. I think it's the 20th. I got a few fish I'll get to share with you. Not really a lot. I've, I don't know, I guess taken a break from like hardcore crocheting the last couple weeks, which has been nice. But uh, I did make a couple of amigurumis this week and I also started a new little blanket project. So I'll share those with you. Okay, first. <laughs> Uh, all of that stringy ding ding put out a new pattern fairly recently, last week or so, um, of a bearded dragon. She put out two versions, like a, a, like a full size amigurumi size and then like a mini of it. And I thought it would be cute. <laughs> We're like a big reptile family here. The boys, Devin, my husband, and my son, Jesse, love, you know, anything reptilian and amphibian and anything like that. So I thought it would be fun to make. And then um, I just happened to have some of the yarn bee blanket yarn. I can't remember what it's called. It's the Hobby Lobby one. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> but it's just, uh, they have like 10 colors. It's not, they don't have a great selection, but they have, and they're all kind of like um, natural themed <laughs> uh, colors. But I did pick up some before to make um, Grogu's and snakes with. And I had some of the brown left over, like a tan color. So I was like, I'm going to use black yarn <laughs> and a bigger hook. I think I used a 7mm uh, hook. And I made a really big bearded dragon. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about these things up here. But uh, I love the way his back looks. The little spike details. I think that looks so cool. He's pretty big. I do need to do his eyes. And he's got little... Each foot has three little toes on it. He's so cute. I think he turned out so cute. <laughs> so I do got to stitch his little eyes on there. And um, I'll probably take him to my market. If he doesn't sell in this first market, I'll probably end up giving him to Jesse because he's interested in him. <laughs> he said that if I sell this one, he wants one anyways. So, But he's cute. I like the way the legs are made. Um, let's see, the whole body is made ragdoll style. So you make the top panel. And then there's a bottom panel. And then the legs are made separate. And you sew them on. And then these little things are crocheted onto his head. And in her pattern, you're supposed to make a chain and do these little things. But I just crocheted it into the body. I just went ahead and did surface crochet just to make it easier on myself. And uh, I thought it was pretty pretty easy. It took a while just because it was big. I like the way the legs are made because they're made kind of flat. And then you fold them and it makes them like... You know, it gives them like a tube shape. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. I wish my toes weren't so curly, but I don't really care. I guess it's not that important. <laughs> but that is my bearded dragon. It's a free pattern by all of it string and ding ding. And uh, I followed the regular size Amigurumi. She also has like a small mini version. That's a little bit different. And then I'm still on the hunt for a good turtle. <laughs> I cannot find a good turtle pattern. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna have to kind of make out my own. They always have um, weird heads or weird fin placement or something like that. So I use my, um, this is Parfait Chunky. The blue is Parfait Chunky and the multicolor is the Parfait uh, Bloom Chunky. <laughs> and uh, so I made this little turtle. See, his head looks so small compared to his body. And it's kind of weird shaped, I don't know. And this one flipper, I didn't <laughs> attach it well enough. It's like hanging down. I meant to fix that when I was closing up the hole and I forgot. But that's okay. He's just going to have a loose flipper. <laughs> He's cute. I like the show. I like the flippers because I like the flippers that you make and fold over. I just don't like his head. This is a free pattern on Instagram by Blue Bina. I'll, I'll link it below. All the patterns will be linked below. Um, all two of them. <laughs> There's only two patterns. But, uh... Yeah, I just don't like his head. I do need to put eyes on him. And I'll still try to sell him. <laughs> but if no one buys him, I'll just donate him. But, um, it's still cute. I like the colors. <laughs> Alright, so that's the only two actual patterns I used. The last thing I started working on was a corner-to-corner -corner baby blanket. So it's just the corner-to-corner -corner stitch. And I got pretty far in it. I started it, um, whatever day I put out the, uh, crochet chat. I can't remember if that was Saturday or Sunday. I think it was Sunday. I started it that morning and then I recorded that video and then I worked on it um, a lot that day because 
I ended up staying up really late that night till like 2 a.m. because we had a lot of storms coming through. So Devin and the kids went to bed and I stayed up so that we could, I keep an eye on the weather, you know, in case it got bad. Um, and then once it passed us, I went to bed. But I sat there watching the weather and crocheting. Uh, so it was actually nice. I was tired the next day. I think that was Saturday night. No, it might have been Sunday night. I don't know. <laughs> it was one of those. Um, but So it is a corner to corner, just solid corner to corner. I'm using double crochet. I'm using this yarn. It is Bernat Softy Baby Stripes. This is the second cake. What's the color by called? Sunshine Sky Stripe. It is a number three light worsted. And each ball has 287 yards. It's 100% acrylic. So this is the second cake. I have one more cake as well. So, and I'm using a G hook, which is four millimeter. So this is how far I've gotten so far. I'm decreasing. I feel like it's gonna be small, but that's okay because I can put a border on it <laughs> to make it bigger. Um, but yeah, so there it is so far. It's coming along. <laughs> I worked on it, like I said, I worked on it the day of um, the crochet chat, and then I worked on it that night when it was storming. And then yesterday I worked on it a little bit while the kids were outside playing. I was sitting out there with them. And I crocheted probably like four rows while they were out there. Um, yeah. So, I have come across a few knots in my yarn, which I always cut the knots out and make my own knot. Um, and I think right here, the blue right here, is where I started the second cake. I think so. I think I feel like I ruined a lot of blue. <laughs> but I think it's come on pretty good. Corn and corner is pretty easy when it's just straight like this. I have a harder time when I have to do a lot of color changes for like a graph gan. And my color changes always look wonky. Um, so I don't I don't really like doing graph gans with corner to corner, but I have done them before. Um, I just don't like the way that the color changes always look. I always somehow mess it up. But I'm getting pretty close to closing this in and then I'll start a border. Um, I don't know how much yarn I'll have left. If I don't have enough yarn to make the border with the this yarn, I will just use a similar yarn. I'll grab a color off of my wall or somewhere. You know, I got yarn kind of stuff there everywhere. <laughs> and um, make it work. This is going to be for my new little nephew who's being born. He's due towards the end of September. And um, so I got time to make that. <laughs> I thought I might also make a, some sort of amigurumi to go with it, like a, a teddy bear or a bunny or just some kind of little snuggly type amigurumi thing. Um, I don't know. I'll, do, I'll get there when I get there. <laughs> and if I do that, I'll, I'll use some colors that's out of this. I'll try to pull some similar colors out. But yeah, so that's pretty much all I've been working on. I do want to pick up my Halloween cardigan and finish the sleeves this week because um, Saturday is the first. And so I need to, I want to get that done before then so that I can um, enter Carrie Penny the Ernie, the happy, crafty homemaker. <laughs> um... Halloween crochet along is going on. It's her spooky summer, spooky spring crochet along. I want to enter that, but uh, I just got to do the sleeves. I just need to sit down and do it. I need, I'm not actually working out here in just a little bit. I'm going to put this down for a little while and pick that up because it shouldn't take me in theory too long to make those sleeves, but uh, we'll see, I guess. Uh, I, I'm the, I'm a firm believer of try on as you go. So the whole time I was making that cardigan, I was trying it on. And then I'll do that with the sleeves too. I'll, I'll work on them and then I'll slide it on just to see if it's fitting the way I want it to fit. Um, so I'll be doing that. They are just going to be granny striped until down towards the cuff. And then I'll make a few rows of single crochet or something to make a little cuff. Yeah, so that's what I'm working on. <laughs> also this weekend, I was sewing a lot. I got all the bags done for the new shop update. And I put them in the shop yesterday. Um, I was I was just putting them up when I got them done because <laughs> I was just tired of, you know, work, working on them and stuff. So there are a bunch of new bags in the shop if you want to check them out. There's some uh, tote bags. I think there's one drawstring bag set left and there's a bunch of notion pouches. So check them out if you want to. I'll be shopping pretty soon for um, more fabric next week or two for the next update. And I already got a list going of what people have been suggesting. So, uh, if there's any prints you'd like to see, let me know in the comments down below, and I will look for them when I'm fabric shopping. And, yeah, I guess that's about it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and go crochet a little bit on my cardigan. Try to get some work on it done before the kids start waking up. It's pretty early. I try to get up a lot earlier than kids so that I have a little bit of time. Let's see here. Dinner today. I think today I'm going to make something simple. So, I might make tacos or 
spaghetti because <laughs> those are just like easy mindless things you know uh, yesterday we made pork steaks I made pork steaks I fried pork steaks and we had macaroni and cheese and uh, cucumbers and potatoes <laughs> I was trying to remember what else and it was pretty good they were pretty good they've been in the freezer for a while so I knew I, I needed to pull them out <laughs> and uh, yeah so today is just gonna be something simple we'll probably make tacos and uh, or spaghetti I don't know I haven't gotten that far <laughs> I'll decide later Devin should get to come home early all day this week every day this week it's and then Friday he's got to work because he was off yesterday I think he'll be coming home he'll be uh working Tuesday Thursday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday <laughs> I can't think of my days but yeah anyways I'm just blabbing I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here these two M green patterns will be linked below if you want to check them out the corner of the corner was just the corner two corner stitch so you can just if you don't know how to do that you can look it up on YouTube just type in C to C um, tutorial and plenty of them will pop up there's so many different <laughs> videos for it um, but yeah it's a pretty fun stitch I just I think I like the mini one better I feel like it goes faster and it's just smaller and tighter I don't know but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and I will see you guys tomorrow hopefully for whip Wednesday I've been missing all the Wednesdays lately but um, I'm planning on making a whip Wednesday tomorrow we'll see if I actually get the chance to <laughs> Wednesdays end up being really busy for me some, for some reason, but I will see you guys in then or for sure Thursday because I got a, um, I don't care what it's called, National Holiday Crochet video coming out on Thursday, so I'll see you sometime this week. <laughs>